Hi, uh, in this video, we will just simply cover how to use Bokeh in order to visualize our data. So uh, these import statements uh, are something that we have to use before we go on to implement any function that we use from these libraries. So just to give a very brief overview, uh, we use figure and show in order to use our plotting functions. The flowers data set is not required in this particular example because I will be showing you showing you another uh, data set and implementing functions on that. Um, but there is another video for the flowers data set where you can find my YouTube tutorials. Uh, another function that is very useful is factor cmap from Bokeh Transform, which allows us to map certain colors in order to categorize different uh, categories of our data set. Factor mark in itself is a new uh, function library which allows you to categorize your attributes from the data set into a dictionary which will be internally used by Bokeh. And uh, these two lines, the output notebook and then just implementing this function allows you to print all your plots within this uh, Jupyter notebook. So we will begin by uh, reading all our dataset files and I will give you a brief um, overview of the kind of files that I have. So I have used data from Chembel, which is uh, um, an online repository for chemical data. Uh, it looks something like this. So I have 10 files in total and they look like this. <clears throat> Yeah, great. So this is the Chembel ID, the organism name, the target type, the target name, the target ID, IC50, molecular weight, molecular species, and relation. So we will be only using certain columns of it to get plotted. Uh, so I'll not explain every column. We'll only be focusing on the ones that are useful to us. Okay, so first of all, we have to read our data. And in order to read our data, uh, I will go line by line over the code that we have to implement. So I will be using a Dask framework in order to read all our fly files. And as you can see, I'm using a Dask distributed library and importing the client as well as progress. So this will be used in the future lines of code. We have a pandas library, we have a Dask data frame, which will be DD representation and numpy as NP. We are also creating a client cluster over here with num uh, two number of workers. And we are reading all the files that have a CSV extension. That is all my uh, Excel files that you just saw. They have a .CSV extension, so they will be read because this is like dot .star. So, this pattern matching will be happening internally. Now I will just run this. So as we can see, all the information from the 10 CSV files have been read into the DF data frame and we can see all the individual columns, compound ID, the organism, target type, target name, target ID, IC50, molecular weight, molecular species, relation active and PIC50. So this column especially will be useful for us because it can help us to comment on the activity of the particular compound. And we will be able to sort every um, compound on the basis of their molecular weight as acidic, basic, neutral, or an unknown category, which is basically provided by the molecular species column. So for us, only this PIC50, molecular species, and molecular weight are the useful columns. So we will be extracting that in the upcoming uh, bokeh data sets. So before we go on, we will, be ha uh, we will have a more useful information if we remove all the columns that have an NAN value. So in order to do that, we will use a simple code of dot fill NA and replace it with the word unknown. After we have run this 
we can simply view our new frame. As you can see, it has been replaced by the word unknown. So now what we will do is start to visualize our three columns that we require to see. Now what we will do is visualize our data between X and Y axis where X will be the molecular weight, the Y will be the PIC50 column, and we will be clustering them on the basis of their molecular species. So in order to see the unique molecular species that we have, we can include a simple function so we will be basically uh, putting a dot unique function on top of the molecular species column and this will give us the exact values that we are focusing on so yeah Right, so we must not forget to write the dot compute function. Anyway, now let's begin the bokeh part of our data visualization. So since we have five molecular species, I have chosen five different designs in order to represent them on the plot. We begin with using this p equal to figure command, which allows us to refer to the plot and p represents the plot. We give it the title molecular species. Now I will be creating a scatter plot. So we will simply refer to P as we had defined before. P dot scatter provide the X axis over here, which is a molecular weight, then the Y PIC 50. And then we tell Bokeh that we have to use source as the DFK data frame that we had earlier recognized. And then we provide the legend. As you can see, I've provided molecular species. It's because we are going to be looking at molecular species from here. Then we have the fill alpha and line alpha, both of which define the kind of designs will be created. This is basically to play around with the depth of the color and the thickness of the uh, icons that you will eventually see now. Size is also going to be related to the icon. I will show you when the plot arrives. The most important part is the marker and the color. Marker is using factor underscore mark, which is basically going to refer to your molecular species column and refer to the uh, five representative icons that you have already defined in the above statement. And you're also going to look at the molecular species that are the unique columns that you found out previously. So it, was, it is going to create a dictionary out of these five categories and, rep, and associate them with the five um, ast asterisk, diamond, triangle, circle X, and hex that you have mentioned over here. So they will be related to the unknown asset, neutral, base, with Ryan, rep, respectively. And the color, as you can see, we have provided a category 10 underscore five. There are more categories, but for our present needs, we only need five colors. So we will be using uh, category 10 underscore five. This show of P. And as we can see, the diagram is pretty intense. So now we have to fix the color, the size, the alpha in order to visualize our data a little more cleanly. We can play around with the fill alpha, for example, we can fill it completely. We can put the size as um, perhaps three, and then let's try to see our plot. So as you can see, all the size has been significantly reduced and we can see the data a little more clearly. So I encourage you to also use this function if you can in your data sets. And I hope you learned something from this. Thank you for watching.